All right, everyone. The road trip moment has arrived, and it's not without a little bit of consternation because we were rushing because of Nicole. Is that the hurricane du jour, Nicole? So Nicole has got everyone stressed because we're headed out for my son's wedding. We're going to do, say, from the Jack's Beach area to the Raleigh area in North Carolina. And if we don't leave a day early, it's conceivable that the bridges will be shut down tomorrow and then will be delayed until possibly Friday or later. And then the wedding is Saturday. We'd miss possibly the rehearsal dinner. So everyone had to scramble, get packed. We actually had somebody that, um, my other brother, he's flying out. They canceled his flight. So we said, look, we'll just rent a Tahoe to get you in. And he said, no, 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 I was on the phone for two hours. I got a Friday flight early. He didn't want to change everything. He got his driver all arranged. So anyway, there was a lot of <laughs> agonizing over how to pack this truck. It looks messy, but this trunk swallowed four people's luggage. Now, I didn't want to put anything on top to wrinkle it, but unfortunately, that's the way it had to go. So it's very windy here with Nicole. You know, all that sand that had gotten cleared off is back. So this is part one of part three or two or whatever. No, part three or four. Who the hell knows? But anyway, we'll be leaving in a couple of hours a day early, stressing. And uh, we'll see how it goes, man. Thanks for joining me. And stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe. See ya. Let me show my diamond earrings. My show for his hat. All right. It's road trip time. See, I, I can't, um, I can't uh, lay, I don't think I can lay the seat back because unless I squish my son up there. Andrew, could I squish you so I could lounge back like a recliner? Uh, I got no more room. Oh, uh, but now I can't ride in extra, extra super luxury. So anyway, we did, we started the road trip. You can see the map here, the navigation. We just started and we're escaping Nicole. Is my brother piloting this behemoth, and uh, I, I commanded him to wear his chauffeur hat. <laughs> and here's my wife with no makeup. She said, you can't put me on too much with no, no makeup. And uh, you know, like the problem is that we don't know if the house will be standing when we get back. So that's the, uh, that's the thing. Now, we're leaving early. We were scrambling. That's why I showed you the trunk. Everything was kind of rushed. And um, I wasn't even going to take this. We were looking at getting a Yukon. And, uh, you know, this way, so my uh, my uh, other brother didn't have to fly. We were just going to... I think you're supposed to turn there. Uh, I can... But, um... Anyway... We didn't get the Yukon because he arranged the new flight. And uh, so now we're just starting off and so far so good. It's comfortable. And we're going the other way. Is it smooth? How's the drive? Is it smooth? Very smooth. Well, and he, he didn't have to turn there. Why did he have to turn there? Oh, he has to go on that thing? All right. Oh, that's okay. So for the first time, we're uh, kind of running away from a hurricane, but not because we really wanted to, more like because we got to get to this wedding. So um, if he man manages to make this U-turn, this isn't like the Hummer with the four wheel steering. We'll see if we could do it. And uh, I'll keep you posted on our first stop. That's it for now. See you. Okay, so we're about uh, two hours into this trip. I haven't slept since last night. Oh, wow, so we made it to Savannah so far. We passed some airplane. And I can tell you that cruising in a Maybach now for two and a half hours is probably everything you would expect. Extremely comfortable. <laughs> and that's about it. Um, do I miss going through the TSA lines? Nope. Oh, there's a mall of some kind. Uh, Nike store. My 
brother's messed with that digital display enough times that he screwed it up several times. You know, and I told him, don't hit the buttons, and he keeps hitting them. I think he finally got it to work. Now we're in nighttime mode. Um, what else? What else? So I don't miss um, lugging that luggage around everywhere, getting x-rayed, putting my hands over my head, and saying, excuse me, can we... Can we x-ray your wang, sir? <laughs> and I'm like, nope. Um, no, but in all seriousness, this is very comfortable. And uh, you'd say it's pretty smooth driving it, right? Oh, yeah. And he put on the Distronic uh, radar cruise control, which is pretty good because it keeps the dis distance and adjusts the speed for the cars. The map, like, to me, could be a little better. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, you don't, when you're taking a long trip, you don't get the city view. So you're getting, like, this long view, which is all right. I guess I feel like, almost like I'm on an airplane flying international. I don't know. She's got the, uh, she's got the city view, and I got the, I don't know, maybe it's my screen. Did I not do the right screen here? I don't know. Um, but it's quiet. We figured out how to shut off this uh, sunshade. And, uh, you know, I, I think it'll take one fill up. I think we're about 38% left in fuel. And then uh, one fill up at the gas station and we're going to be good to go. We'll make it all the way. So that's the other thing. Like now, obviously, if we were in the Hummer, this wouldn't be the case. Because we would, uh, you know, who knows where we would have to charge, how long it would take. You know, and that's the advantages of ice engines. And uh, that's it for this update. You know, and then I'll uh, I'll pick it back up when we uh, when we stop. And talk to you later. This is the nighttime video, and you know now I, I got to talk over Queen because you know what will happen. YouTube will pick up the freaking audio and then they'll like uh, smack it down. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, especially Queen. Queen is the word, like Queen and the, um, I'm trying to think of, there's so many groups that will just, um, yeah. they'll uh, they'll lock the video out, you know, block it, completely block it. So you got to be careful. So I, I can't, uh, uh, you know, I have to ramble yeah. through yeah. another 28 seconds so you don't have to hear Freddie Mercury going, somebody, 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 somebody. You know, and it's funny because they pick up the faintest trace. Anyway, like, but it's really I'm, I'm putting on the uh, the night just to show the uh, ambient lighting and the uh, the traffic. But we passed Savannah, right? A long time. How much is gas? Guess there is. Just hit South uh, Carolina. That size yeah. is welcome. We're in some town. Yes, yeah, so I guess we're in South South Carolina. And what town is this? Hardyville. Hardyville. Pretty soon we'll get to south of the border. Or is that in North Carolina? I think that's north, right? That's the border of south and North Carolina. Yeah, oh, that place is the creepiest. And we will pick up another video when we get to that Ooh. creep fest. <laughs> that should be where they make the next horror movie, it's south of the border. That's it for now. See you. Damn, now it's going to take till 1114. What? It's gonna take. I'm just. I'm doing a quick video update on the journey. Look, 75. Look, at him. he's doing the speed limit. Some nighttime traffic. I'm gonna stitch all these together. Put our tables away. We stopped. We stopped for a quick bite at America's. Hmm favorite restaurant <laughs> favorite gourmet home of uh, I don't even want to say but you know when you got to do things quick on the run you got to do what you got to do I think everyone has a different map version that view yeah, it looks like that don't ask me why That's what's going on at night. I was thinking of live streaming this, but I'm tired, kind of, and I don't know what I really want to talk about.
could talk about the election, but it's rather disappointing, first of all. And uh, I don't know if anyone cares. Plus, Eastern Time, we're at what, seven? I got it off military time. So we're about eight o'clock. So I'm trying to think of what most of my listeners would be. Probably, well, maybe it'd be Eastern, but who knows? And uh, I know, like in Europe, they're like ahead. I know Jose in Singapore is going to be ahead. So I don't know. I might. Maybe I'll do it, but I'm not sure yet. But anyway, just another little piece of the road trip. But again, very comfortable. Can't complain so far. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone. The journey up here has finally concluded. Thanks for joining me as always. And uh, <clears throat> take a sec to subscribe. Appreciate all the, the newcomers. Nice little wave we're having, growth wave. Uh, again, I appreciate that. So we, uh, we concluded the trip. And just by sheer happenstance, I happened to be able to look at the car when we parked it last night <clears throat> around 11. Had no idea that I would have a view of the <laughs> car from the second story in this less than stellar hotel. But here we are and I can see it, make sure it's okay. Now, just loading the car, you know, most of the loading was done in the garage, but in the, you know, 10, 15 minutes that I had to put the final luggage and uh, last minute bags into the car, uh, Nicole, the, you know, now it's raging over there down in, my neck of the woods, but it was still so bad that a ton of sand and crap got deposited. I actually would like to have a mobile detailer come out, but I think they're expecting rain. I haven't gone out and, and done a thorough um, check. There was one rock that pinged the windshield. We'll see if that chipped anything. But it was, um, let's see, from 3 to approximately 11.30, so we're looking at eight and a half hours, so about 7 to seven and a half hours of drive time. And what I could tell you, not only was it supremely comfortable, I mean, absolutely uh, astonishingly comfortable, but uh, there was a, a noticeable lack of aches and pains. And, you know, sometimes I felt my neck getting a little stiff. And you know what, I, I flipped on that massage feature. And you know what, lo and behold, uh, you know, heated. You have the heated back, heated shoulders, and uh, you know what? It took care of that. So it was nice that you can actually finish a long journey like that and feel somewhat refreshed. You know, you didn't feel like you just went through a major slog, you know, like almost like a workout. So somebody on Rumble asked me if, the, if I could just do all the powers, the switches, whatever they want to hear, the tactile feedback. They want to hear the, the purrs and the whines of the motor. So I'm gonna conclude this road trip video with just going out to the car and, and hitting a few uh, buttons and switches. So you can hear the servos and little things like that. And uh, that'll be the end of this journey. And I can tell you though this with 100% with confidence that a car like this for its intended purpose, you know, to sit in the back of something like this is head and shoulders above anything like truck-based, uh, Escalade, um, anything that's body on frame, as nice as like uh, an Escalade or uh, Expedition or, you know, what's the, uh, the, the Navigators, things like that. The ride is just so much more muted, subdued. The suspension just absorbs so much more punishment and it feels comfortable. You just don't get the, the kickback uh, and the jarring vibrations it's and and you know it's much more firmly planted because as you know like the wind dynamics on the road with all those trucks flying by you you know if you're in like say a mercedes sprinter van it looks like you know you're traveling in a house um you know you get a lot of wind shear and you feel like you could topple over you don't get this this car is so planted on the ground uh, and quiet with the uh, thick acoustic glass and things like that that it's just a whole different experience so um you know, I definitely uh, would continue to, to keep this as like the long distance cruiser by far, you know. And anyway, let me wrap this up in four minutes and then I'll go out there and do a final with a little review of the, uh, the little, like I said, the bells and whistles. And uh, thanks again for joining me. I'll talk to you again soon. All right. Like I said, 
I'm going to conclude the road trip part one with as a bit shoot. Did I say rumble before? As a bit shoot, anonymous poster asked me, can you just hear all the servos and motors and sound? I don't know if you can see that. A lot of the sand and stuff like that. That Oh, wow. It's kind of weird. Like, see, the doors just kind of opened up. Hopefully that's not the case. Let me put my hot tea. So a couple of things. I've succumbed to um, a little bit of a bug. You know, my son was sick for a long time and uh, he recovered. So I think working <clears throat> at the, you know, the collection nonstop seven days a week. Look at this temp tag. I'm surprised that didn't, <laughs> that didn't fly off. That actually expires the last day that I'm driving back. I'm going to do kind of a walk around, see how any damage. So the film seems like it did its job so far. No windshield crack that I could see, no chip, but, you know, I'd have to really um, see how this... Oh, a little gritty. Gritty sand. Let's see if my brother did any curb rash. I could yell at him. No... I really need a mobile detailer. Uh, anyway, I don't mind doing this sitting back here. I'm showing the, uh, really the, the best spot. The best spot in this car is right here in the back. All right, so let's get in there and get this done. Usually I have the <clears throat> all weather mats. I didn't even have a chance to do that. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. All right, so let's get in here and kick off my shoes. So the first button we're going to hit, you know, the other thing that we mentioned, let's hit this, see if it, it close the door. All right. Okay, to my anonymous friend. Um, let's see here. Okay, the music. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. All right. Let me move these shoes out of the way. <clears throat> the carpet is a little plushy. All right, so you saw that, that first one. Now, here's your shade. Um, I'm going to have to talk over the music. I may have to turn the car on. Okay. Yep. All right. Let me let me pause the video and go into the driver's side. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because I think everything is. Well, you know what? Just show you this. So the the main the to kind of relax fully, you hit the button here. These motors are actually pretty quiet, so let me see if you can hear that. Ah, uh, I gotta, I gotta get this. I gotta have to have, speak through this. Uh, I think this is uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash without Young, because this is when they're yelling at uh, Neil Young. Oh no, 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 or is this Neil Young? Yeah, yeah, this is Neil Young yelling at Crosby, Stills, and Nash. So you can see here. Now, one thing, uh, you know, we said uh, we should do a honk for Maricopa County, a honk campaign in the spirit of sticks, you know, the great honk. And <laughs> how about we honk for Maricopa County? So really, you don't hear much. You see how the foot thing comes out and that's how you extend out here. And, uh, you know, unless I get to the front, I can't really... Um, let me let me pause the video here and then I'll pick it up. I'll go to the driver's seat, turn on and see what's going on there. So stay tuned. All right, my friends, we're back at what uh, Rady, Rady calls the business end of the deal. And uh, let's see what we have. Let's like, listen to the engine start up. See how smooth that is? barely here. It purrs like a kitten. And uh, as I was saying, you know, we need to do a 
honk for Maricopa. Hopefully I didn't wake anybody up. So that's the great honking for Maricopa campaign. Get on it. Um, let's check the uh, window. So dirty. So what I'm going to do for my for my listener, not my listener, my uh, commenter on BitChute that wanted to hear the noises. And I muted the radio. I'll go back in the back seat and do that all over again. It's, again, pretty quiet. Look at the revs here, in other words. It's being quiet. You can't really hear anything. The luxury. All leather. Feels great. I don't know if anyone really cares about this. Let's see this. That's that. Let's see. Oh, this you just push. So the closing is automatic. But to open it, you gotta just manually do it. See? Does it? Anything else up here? Let's see what else is on here. The one thing to, you know, it's funny. People that are used to old school, um, this isn't like one of those old time shift levers. Uh, this you just kind of tap up for reverse, tap down for drive. And you hit the button for park, but there's an old school, like <laughs> back in the 70s and 80s, you crank it like this and pull it down. And, you know, uh, my brother's like, oh, no, I pull it. I'm like, no, 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 you'll break the stock off. And the steering wheel is actually really nice because it's wood up top here. Really, really uh, um, luxurious, <laughs> luxurious. You got stitched leather up here. Got this nice hand grips here. If you care about that stuff, and even uh, you know, tactile feedback here is like it has it's like a rougher texture. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic. And then you got aluminum trim. So this stuff is nice if you care about that. And again, this wood with the silver inlay is, is beautiful. Like I said, that was a must to me. And it sucks that I can't put the radio on. I wish there was a way to find like some, um, what do they call it? Uh, License-free music. I don't think you can see the heads up display here. No, that won't come up because this sound system is freaking insane. Absolutely insane. It's so beautiful. In fact, when I finish this video, what I'm going to do is crank up a song just to hear it now this car will lock you out even with the key so i gotta be careful um why is it asking me for my pen again oops so you have to put your profile in <clears throat> so once i put it in it assigns the seat so it's assigning this you know the uh front seat to me which means i can't put the profile in the back so i'm gonna leave this door open and we'll go in the back with the car on You can see here, like, how dirty it got. Let's go around this way. Yeah, I had a case where the car was running. Oh, man, this is dirty. Not, uh, not nice enough to show up at the wedding with this filthy car, and the roof is filthy. All right. Let's see. Back, back in the... King's area. All right. Let me do this one more time here. All right. So let's see now with the car on. Here's your sunshade. Again, this is uh, by request of a bit shoot viewer. Well, hopefully it'll rain. Maybe the rain will wash off a lot of this crap. Fairly quiet, you know, nothing crazy in the console. And the seat I'll do again, but actually, when you go back to the upright position, you'll hear it better. All 
I mean, I'm only 5'10", but I mean, if you were even like 6'1", 6'2", you'd have a ton of room. So now the, the chair is reclining. leg rest is coming up and then the foot rest there will extend and this is why I said it'll be um, it'll be uh, um, comfortable you won't you won't um, you won't suffer any fatigue on a long trip let's see the whoop. making a video here All right, cool. <laughs> um, There's the shade. How about this shade? Here's your window shade here. I actually preferred this down the entire time. Not down, I mean up for privacy. I feel more like a VIP. <laughs> no, I really do like it for privacy because people look, you don't need the gawkers, you know. And uh, how about the window if we go with the window down? So you have double thick acoustic laminated glass. This speaker is freaking amazing here. And they call it the four dimensional speaker system. Let's see if I can get Mercedes on. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Turn on ambulant, <laughs> ambient lighting. I'm turning on the ambient light. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Change color of ambient lighting. I'm turning on the ambient light. I said that, but I want it red. Hey, Mercedes. Change ambient light to red. Please repeat. Change ambient lighting to red. Paused. It brought up a navigation. Cancel. Wonky. I think the microphones aren't as uh, good in the back as the front. Hey, Mercedes. Where do you want to go? Cancel. Hey, Mercedes. <laughs> hey, Mercedes. It's worse than my wife. Mercedes. Cancel. Nah. Forget it. She's on strike. That's the... Uh, the quirks of technology, the foibles of technology, the hubris of technology. Anyway, let's put the seat back. So you go here and you're gonna put the seat up. Now listen to this. No, not that. Mercedes, are you back yet? Cancel this, go home. So let me show you this also. So here's like, for instance, you wanna do hot back, intensive, start, boom. There's your hot massage starting right now. You can see it here. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Change ambient lighting to red. Okay, I'm changing the color. It's about damn time. Now, it also has a feature that when you turn on the AC, the uh, the lights here, it just it runs like a light show. It goes from blue to red, depending on whether you put cold or hot. Um, you could also control stuff from here. <clears throat> I 
Let's go to ambient lighting, effects, multicolor animation. I still have to learn a lot of this. So look, we have it red and it shows red here. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Uh, put on ambient lighting color show. I don't know if that's a thing, but. I'm sorry. Can you say that again, please? Ambient lighting animation. I'm sorry, but I can't help you with that right now. Nah, what good are you? No results found. How can I help you? Um, ambient lighting. Um, color change. I'm turning off the ambient light. Oh, for the hell of it. Uh, okay, so I'd have to figure that out. But anyway, that's, uh, you know, I know this dragged on long. This is going to be longer than the road trip, so I'm going to have to call it a day. <clears throat> so that, my friends, is a look at some of the uh, bells and whistles. And again, it's going to take a while to learn all this stuff. But you know what? I mean, the part that interests me is getting sitting back here in comfort, getting a massage, not having my neck hurt, not having a sore back, and, uh, you know, having the world outside isolated on these long trips, not dealing with TSA, not dealing with check-in, not dealing with lines, not dealing with flight cancellations, not dealing with getting bumped, um, losing your seat, changing your gates, getting stuck at a freaking airport for uh, over 12 hours, 13 hours, and then being told your flight is canceled and go home and have a nice day. But here's your $10 meal voucher, you know, at 11 o'clock at night. So, you know, so far I'm, uh, 4,000, you know, I consider 4,000 reduction in price in the sense of uh, saving on airline fees. Less one tank of gas, which was 50 bucks uh, to fill up maybe three quarters. And you know what? Uh, again, on the side of the people that aren't really fans of the EVs, you know, here's the one thing. Again, with ICE engines, you know, we stopped 10 minutes, filled it up, and that was it, you know. Now, if you have your... EV, you're going to have to map out where you can recharge and um, be prepared to stop for hours on end. So that's right now the uh, the disadvantages of EVs for long trips. You know, maybe that'll improve. And I know Tesla has the stations, uh, you know, a little more liberally uh, applied in places, but still it would take a lot longer. So with that, thanks. That was the end of road trip. Let me know what you think of all this. Um, I hope you like it. And thanks again for all the subscribers. Please keep watching and share the videos and uh, let me know anything else you'd like to know. I'll probably do a follow up. And again, if you want to see any kind of live stream on the way back, I could live from the highway or eventually when I get my desk, I'll do normal live streams. And by the way, uh, congratulations to Sticks for his half million subscribers. That's awesome, man. Nice achievement there, buddy, on YouTube. And also, if you want to see a phenomenal uh, segment, go to the Tim Pool segment. I mean, he is milk toast middle of the road, but his recent uh, interview with Milo, it's about 13 minutes long. Holy shit. Milo schooled him big time, but everybody kind of schools him. And, you know, Milo's insights were spot on, man. And they were really, really fascinating. And, you know, listen, he articulates what we all think, you know, not we all, but what uh, large segment of a certain portion of the population thinks. So with that, thanks again, my friends, and I'll talk to you later.